Everything appears to be in order. Both parties have agreed to a continuance. Tell me again, Ms. Holden. Tell me again, Ms. Holden, why isn't Mr. Chandler here himself? Judge Phillips unexpectedly called him into court. I see. Motion is granted. Tell Mr. Chandler the next time he sends me an errand girl, he should find a better excuse. Sir? Judge Phillips left for maternity leave last week. What do you mean? Are there any other pollutants in there that could cause disease? What kind of disease? Oh, I don't know. Cholera, leprosy, mercury poisoning. Well, the bay is filled with pollutants that could carry things, but I find it doubtful that in our day and age... What kind of pollutants? Agricultural runoff, PCBs, MTBE, pharmaceuticals, dioxin, chlordane, a variety of stuff, and of course, it is the algae growth caused by all the chicken shit that feeds a host of parasites... Don't you regulate the water? Yes. We test the water, but we only test the water for pollutants that are regulated by our mandate, and we still haven't finished labeling or restricting a lot of the pollutants that, that, that may exist. Not to mention what we do when we find the stuff. Look, a lot of this stuff is new science. You're damn right it's new science. So you're saying you found the $20,000 on a cruise ship? That is correct, sir a cruise ship that you found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean mm -hmm. after it completely dried up. Well, not completely dried up, but a good portion of it, yes. And then you brought it here in your time machine. Temporal transport device. Uh-huh. Ever been inside the Bureau of Engraving? On numerous occasions, yes. So you admit it. Of course. I supervise the excavation. The what? You see, after the city of Washington took a direct hit from the comet Abdon... No, oh, for the love of... Sir, something you need to see. You're breaking up, Rob. Look, I'm back in Washington tonight. We'll meet with the Undersecretary first thing tomorrow. We'll go over the details then. Rob? Rob! Damn it. Morning, General. I remember when we bought that for you. It was your birthday. Eight years old. You were gifted. You learned how to play a full-size cello. Teacher looked at me as I was crazy. Well, you wouldn't let me buy you the small one. I thought I'd be stuck in a, with a mini cello for the rest of my life. You're a smart girl. Fix it? No. Well, looks like this is the wood part. Well, I've got some glue. Well, you know, maybe Harper can help me. He's pretty handy, you know. Won't sound the same. So? It won't sound right. Gotta learn to adapt. Dad, it won't work. So how much money you got from the yard club last night? Don't know. Um, Two hundred dollars? Why don't you... Not enough for a new cello, Daddy. Why don't you give it to me? Just for now. <laughs>